Hey Aries, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly A.K. Owl Tarot. And I'm here to give you guys confessions from your ex. We're going to see what this person has to tell you. What are their overall messages and possible outcomes in your guys' situation. But before we get started guys, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. This allows me to connect with you all energetically. And it helps me out with the growth of the channel. As you all know, my readings are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot. Please reverse the rules as need be. Cross watchers, you are always welcome. Guys, don't forget to check your other placements so you get a better understanding of this energy. And if this reading resonated for you and you would like additional messages and clarity regarding your situation, you can always book a personal reading with me. The information is in the description box below. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started here. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for all your love and support. It is truly appreciated. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, what messages does your ex have to, or what confession does your ex have to tell you? I keep on hearing as I'm saying the intro. That's why I got a little bit thrown off at the beginning. Um, I, I, I keep on hearing I can't stop thinking about you. So someone is constantly thinking about you, Aries. It's just a constant, I can't stop thinking about you. I can't stop thinking about you. I keep on picturing somebody looking at a cell phone as well with the moon here. I feel that whoever it is that you were dealing with in the past, there could have been, this could have been a complicated relationship for you and this individual, okay? Possibly a lot of secrets could have been kept or just maybe, not necessarily secrets, but I feel that both you and this person didn't open up emotionally to each other completely. So you kept a lot hidden from this individual. There could have also been a lot of illusions, a lot of insecurities, uncertainties in the situation that caused problems between you and your person. You might have felt that this person was keeping, again, secrets from you or just keeping details about their personal life from you, okay? But this person, I keep on hearing they can't stop thinking about you, okay? Um, what a catch. Wanting to conquer fear of losing you. So this person is scared of losing you. They want to get over that feeling. This person... They want to reach out because I keep on seeing an image of a cell phone and at that an old like flip phone So somebody keeps on opening the phone and like they want to reach out They want to talk to you, but they're something is holding them back Maybe the fact that they think that you may not want to talk to them Okay, but they can't stop thinking about you Can't be trusted false promises using weakness a weakness against you and they came out in the reverse So I feel in the past you may have felt that this person betrayed you was keeping secrets um wasn't wasn't trustworthy as you thought he or she was um and this person is like in this energy where they were just a rather private individual i'm getting here okay nine of pentacles somebody is ready to move on move forward somebody is independent somebody wants a commitment in this situation this may be you or this may be this person but i'm really getting from this individual that they're starting to build up the strength they're starting to build up the balls to contact you to want to talk to you um you're constantly on this person's mind um, they're trying to hold back their emotions at the same time, too. With the sun, this person, every time they think about you, they, they think happy thoughts. They had a lot of happy plans uh, with you for the future. There's just something about you and this relationship that this person can't, you know, they can't stop thinking about the what ifs. What if this would have worked out? Where would we have been today? Would we have purchased that house? Would we have had kids? So this person is constantly in that train of thought of the what ifs, okay? What else, universe? Mirroring, okay? So a mirage for you to go within. So this person has done a lot of um, soul searching, I'm hearing, okay? They've really do dove within. They're looking at the, the fact that, you know, they weren't as open as they should have been with you in the relationship. I feel that this person, for some of you guys, I don't know why I'm getting this, but somebody here... Um, this person didn't confess that, you know, they were barely coming out of a relationship or they were just walking away from a relationship. It could have been somewhat of a third party, but I'm really not even getting that. This person just kept a lot to themselves. They regret Five of Cups for not opening up emotionally, for causing the breakup, for losing you. They have a lot of sadness and regret. Divine timing here. 
um patience is needed this person will be coming back towards you and it's all within divine timing so if you guys are waiting for this individual to come back around they are they're in the middle of this cleanup they may be removing karmic situations out of their life like i said for some of you guys you know they could have still been dealing with another person okay um they were still probably ending another situation when you came into their life you may view this individual as a player here okay um, but they're trying to resist temptation, okay? Um, sexual encounters. For some of you guys, you know, again, it could have very well been a third party or somebody could have told you, you know, this person is married and you felt like they were just using you for sex possibly, but I don't think that was the case. That's definitely not the case here. What else, universe? Dark night of the soul, okay? So this person is in this energy right now where they feel empty, where they feel disconnected where they feel like they have no one to talk to. They're really walking through this dark night of the soul and it's because they're dealing with a lot of loneliness. But at the same time that they're dealing with this loneliness, they're trying to get over some type of depression, some type of sadness because they're not able to talk to you. Okay? Um, two of swords here. They feel like you may be guarded. You may not allow them to come towards you and because they caused you a lot of burdens here with the Ten of Wands. They keep on thinking about everything that they did to you in the past, all the pain that they caused you, all the sadness that they caused you. They're in a lot of remorse as well, okay? What is it? What's this person's um, moves towards my Aries universe? What are going to be their moves towards my Aries? Three of Wands. This person is planning to come back around, Aries. This person is coming back around. They're planning. They're, they're relieving or they're removing, as, as I stated earlier, with the... With the karma card, where in the world did it go? There goes clean up. They're removing some karmic ties and they are gonna come towards you. They're making a plan to come towards you. Okay. This person constantly thinks about the day that they're gonna come towards you. They're hoping and praying that you won't be guarded, that you'll take that opportunity or you give them that opportunity to talk to you. They're gonna tell you that whatever they were dealing with, it's come to an end. There's a total transformation. So for some of you guys, if this person was married or in another situation, that situation has ended with the nine of pentacles and the death here. This person um, is no longer tied down to another person. They're single, they're available, they're ready to commit, they're ready to move towards you. The only reason I feel that this person may still be holding back is because they're still, you know, they're still cleaning up some of these karmic ties. They're, they're tying up some loose ends. So when they get ready to come towards you and make that move, they can bring in some balance, some peace, some harmony, okay? Because the temperance right now, currently it's in the reverse, all right? So that means that this person is still working out some things in their life. With the Queen of Cups, this person wants to tell you that they love you, that they soon will be back towards you to balance things out, okay, for equal give and take. And with the Ace of Wands, this person is going to get ready to reach out. They're going to want a new beginning here. They're going to want to have a conversation with you. And right along with that conversation is the justice, meaning this person is going to speak some truth. They're going to want to clear the air with you, Aries. They're going to want to move forward. This person overall wants to let you know that they can't stop thinking about you and they are planning to come back towards you okay Alrighty, aries i hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed don't forget to like share and subscribe click that notification bell and if you want to book a personal the info is in the description box below i'll talk to you soon bye